Hi everyone, I'm Sam McIntosh, uh, VU and Western Bulldogs Listener Recruitment Analyst. Throughout the finals, I've been providing you with some key stats uh, through the games as part of the VU Data Lab. Today, I'm fortunate enough to get to chat with uh, Western Bulldogs midfielder Jack McRae. Uh, Jack, thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me, Sam. Too easy. Um, people might be surprised to know that you're actually currently studying with uh, Victoria University. Um, firstly, what degree are you studying and um, why did you decide to study alongside playing football? Yeah, I'm doing a business degree with a uh, major in innovation and entrepreneurship. So um, it's just something that a few of us boys uh, probably four or five years ago, um, Sam Cordy, Tom Boyd, myself, um, obviously it's, it's really important to have something outside of football to um, not only keep you occupied and busy, but also to help after your, your career in footy, we all know it doesn't last forever, unfortunately. So, um, yeah, it was really important to, to find something that um, could help, you know, move me in the direction when I do finish my career um, in something that I want to do. So, um, yeah, almost finished finished my degree, and which is pretty exciting. I know Zane finished it just recently. So, um, yeah, looking forward to, to finishing and hopefully maybe doing some more studying. Oh, awesome. Um, so the Victoria University and, and Western Bulldogs partnership is pretty unique in the sense that uh, it affords researchers like myself uh, to be embedded within the club. Um, we've also got some other researchers and, and also students in the areas of uh, strength and conditioning and training design um, and also load management. I guess what, what's the general feel from the group or, or just you as, as an individual athlete around having um, – university research students, I guess, highly involved in the day-to-day -day processes of the club? Yeah, it, it's a terrific resource that um, obviously both parties take advantage of and, and really work together well. And um, I know personally that we've had quite a few people at the club to help us with different areas and opened our eyes to, to certain technology and, and science and statistics that have probably um, helped in uh, measuring, you know, weightlifting, um, recovery, and different aspects of our performance. So um, from that aspect, it's, it's been really great to work with and probably a few of us that are studying at VU as well um, to, to, you know, hone in on that relationship. And, um, you know, they've been terrific to work with throughout the whole time. Uh, obviously, with, with our demands, it can be quite challenging at different times to get to certain classes or um, meet certain um, requirements. So it's been great that they've been so flexible with us and always been amazing to deal with so um yeah from the, the players point of view and um and a few of the staff that have studied at VU as well it's it's been a, a terrific relationship that hopefully we can um continue to, to strengthen for the years to come and I agree I mean I personally think it's a fantastic resource I started off with with the Bulldogs about six years ago as a student and been able to progress through as a researcher and, and our work from and, and I can I guess attest to it that it's a, it's a really good system and the partnership works really well at both ends. Um, I guess I want to ask a question about about you and your game. Um, so so far on the on the VU data lab, we've been breaking down performances of, of the Bulldogs, but also players using the AFL player ratings and a few other measures. But but within this, um, you are both a top ten mid, midfielder in the league for both getting your hands on the ball, but but also then using the ball as well. I just wanted to ask, what do you think your best attributes are and, and you know, how are you going to use those um, this weekend to uh, get the boys over the line? Uh, yeah, I think probably some of my strengths are just the ability to, to work throughout the whole four quarters and um, get to as many contests as possible. And, and that's probably how I judge my game is um, making quick decisions um, out of stoppage and, and getting – putting myself in a position to, to impact as many contests and either, you know, outnumber to defend or, or win the ball myself. So um, that's probably one of my, my big strength areas and probably another one that I, I try and do as, as often as possible is just to be as clean as possible. I think if you um, can be a one-touch player, um, especially, you know, in, in finals, it, it goes a long way in, um, in in having a say on the game. Obviously, the pressure is so high. So if you, if you fumble a bit, it's it probably really takes away your, your ability to impact with the ball. So um, there's probably a few areas that I really work on during the week is just trying to be really clean with my hands and um, really clear with my decision-making as well. Awesome. Um, you've broken a couple of possession records this season. Um, so you, you had 16 straight games of, of 30 or more possessions and you've also 
uh, clocked up as the quickest player to record 5,000 disposals. I just wanted to ask a, a question on those those records. Were you actually aware that you were pretty close to breaking them going into those matches? Uh, I knew the first one that you mentioned because all the boys were telling me about it during the week. <laughs> I, I wasn't aware to the second one. Um, but, yeah, you don't, you don't go out to play to break records or, um, you know, achieve those sort of things. And, um, you know, it's probably something that you reflect a bit more on at the end of my career, which hopefully, is, you know, still got a few, few more years left. So, um, yeah, it's, it's always, you know, nice to, to achieve a few things along the way. But, um, yeah, I'm, I'm very fortunate to, to play in a midfield with, you know, in, in my whole career to play with, you know, players like Bonte and Libra and a few superstars like that who um, certainly make my job a lot easier. I just wanted to ask one more question on the grand final uh, next weekend. Um, there's a lot of talk about the final being between the two best midfields in the league. Uh, Bulldogs are currently the number one team in the, the league for winning the ball at stoppages, and, and you're obviously a big part of that. Um, but Melbourne are probably the best at actually scoring from stoppages, um, and, and they really proved that in the, uh, the final on the weekend against Geelong, where they actually scored over 100 uh, points uh, directly from stoppages. Yes, what, what do you think is going to make the difference in the final and, and how do you guys um, get to look to, I guess, combat Melbourne scoring from stoppages? Yeah, it's, I think every week it's, it's a big part of the game, um, the midfield battle. battle, And um, I know, yeah, in finals especially, it, it goes a long way to, to deciding the, the victory. So obviously they've got some super players in there. They've got the three All-Australians just in their midfield alone. So yeah. Um, and obviously, Max Gorn had one of the great finals last week um, that you'll probably ever see from a ruckman. So, uh, yeah, it's 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 we're gonna have our hands full in in stopping them and and doing what we're doing there as well, and, and trying to get the ball in our in our forward half. So, obviously, we'll have plans that we probably haven't talked too much about it since it's still a week away. But we'll have plans to try and limit some of their impact. Um, obviously, Gorn and um, having Steph Martin back in the team is, it goes a long way as well in helping that. Um, hopefully limiting his impact as well. So it's going to be an exciting battle in the midfield and um, they're why, you, you know, you, you do all the hard work over the preseason is to, to get to these moments and play in these big games that every player wants to play. And so we're all really looking forward to getting out there next Saturday night and um, it's going to be so exciting to play in front of a, a full crowd and put on a show for, you know, for everyone in Perth. So, um, yeah, it's really exciting and, Unfortunately, I have to wait a few more days still, but it's going to be, um, yeah, hopefully a great game. And obviously, hopefully we get out on top as well. Well, uh, thank you for your time today, Jack. And um, obviously, good luck uh, next Saturday. We'll be cheering from back in Victoria for you guys. No, thank you very much. Um, thanks for having me, Sam. <laughs>